their names cleared after being wrongfully convicted 25 years ago. The women who were known as the San Antonio Four back then are in a sense trying to pay it forward. Jesse DeGriado says they are now advocates helping the Innocence Project of Texas with a case they say is very similar to theirs. You really believe you're in your innocence. You fight all the way. James Harry Reyes and four of the women sitting close by were brought together by documentary filmmaker Deb Eskenazi and the Innocence Project of Texas. Very different cases, but the roots are there that are very similar. Latina lesbians Cassandra Rivera Hurtado, Elizabeth Ramirez, Ana Vasquez, and Christy Mayhew saw their 1998 conviction of sexual assault thrown out. Ironically, just outside the conference room where we spoke is where the San Antonio Four had their news conference announcing they'd been exonerated back in 2016. Two years later, their criminal records were expunged by a judge clearing their names. We all know what it's like to be incarcerated, pulled away from our family, behind lies, crimes that never happened. We didn't have anybody to back us up. We had nothing. We were alone. Which is why they say they're standing up for Reos, a gay Apache, now on parole, who they believe also was wrongly convicted in the 1981 murder of a priest in West Texas. There's more than one person that has been through it. There's four, five. How many more, you know? In hopes of clearing her client's name, Reyes's attorney, Allison Clayton, says new evidence will be introduced this week. That's the reason why now we think we have a real shot at getting James exonerated. This will be Eskenazi's second documentary with the San Antonio Four, this time about their advocacy on Reyes's behalf. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.